Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Grand Theft Auto Online. Today we're going to be stealing gold from the Union Depository. At the moment the auto shop contracts are actually given three times payout and the best one of these is the Union Depository so it's well worth doing this week. Now if like me you don't have any friends you may want to know how to do this solo so hey, this video man. is just going to go through oh, all of so the, the steps on how to do gold, this completely But solo. you want to rob the Union Depository? You gotta get in there first. Okay. Get your hands on one of those elevated passes that the bougie-ass bankers use so you can sneak in. Client sent over an address of some rich food that has one. Here's the location. So when we enter this building, be prepared for a firefight, so make sure you have your body armor and snacks at the ready. I'm not sure what this many people are doing in this building, in this very small room here, and all carrying guns as well. It's not that too difficult. What I like to do is, uh, instead of using cover, I just edge around the corner because I find that whenever you use cover in this game, you end up exposing more of yourself than you usually would if you just edge around the corner. That's me messing up a sticky grenade. But yeah, all you need to do is shoot all of these guys and then go collect a keycard from a room. A little tip if you did not know. You can actually shoot open doors instead of using your body to open them. You can use that trick to throw in a grenade. Although somehow that guy survived a grenade being thrown into his face. I'm not sure how. What you need to do now is search the body on this floor and you'll be able to find the keycard. Once we've got the keycard, we're just going to head down to the elevator and prepare ourselves for another gunfight. Uh, once again, we've got a lot of guys in this room all having a gun party for some reason. But once we killed everyone, we just need to grab one of the vehicles in here and drive it to a spot ready to be picked up later. Once we've got the vehicle we need, we just need to take it to the delivery points. We can have a few bad guys chasing after us, but it's not too big of a deal. Try not to get them to drive up beside you, because that's when they can chunk a huge amount of your health. So if they get behind you, I just usually turn around and shoot them with the SMG. So this is the location where we get to choose where to drop off our getaway vehicle. We've actually got three choices here. The one I like to choose is the one furthest to the west. I don't know which is the best one, this is the one I always do and the one I'm used to.
This is the second setup mission which is going to get us the codes to actually enter the vault. Hey, listen up! We getting ready for a big one, y'all. Stealing gold from the Union Depository. Now, I ain't one for gossip, but the client just came through with a piece that's juicy and useful. The bank manager's cheating on his wife with his secretary. Shifty-ass motherfucker. We gonna use this shit to get the vault codes out of him. Step one, steal a police chopper so we can track his car. Been listening to the police scanners, and there's one over at LSIA. Step two, use the high-res camera on there to catch his ass red-handed. I talk soon. So first step is to grab a police helicopter from the airport, which is guarded by two cops, but they're not too difficult to take out. helicopter we do need to lose the cops before it will give us our next objective if you want to save time the next objective is actually in those skyscrapers in the distance so what you do is just start heading towards them and by the time you get there you would have lost the cops already Once you're at your destination, you need to identify the banker's car. It's the same one each time, so all you need to do is look for a blue sports car. So the car we're looking for is that blue car right there. For some reason it keeps scanning the ones next to the car, and it takes me a few attempts for it to actually scan the car I want. So the next step is to follow the bank manager's car. You have to get a little bit closer to the car than I was there before he starts driving away. But then we just follow him for a few minutes. If you stay high enough, he won't actually detect you. So this car is going to lead you to this hotel. And our job here is to get a compromising picture of the bank manager. The way we're going to do that is to hover over the hotel and look for a man and a woman talking and take a picture with the police camera once they are happy. Now they're not always in the same place each time so keep looking and eventually you'll be able to spot them. And you want to take a picture when they're both hugging and that will complete the mission. Now we're ready to start the main part of the mission. Now you won't be able to take your normal loadouts into this mission, so you've got three choices, the sharpshooter, the hustler, or the heavyweight. My recommendation is to go for the hustler, because it gives you a nice easy to use assault rifle.
Let's go rob a bank. Let me get Kay up in here. Ooh, I've been waiting on this call, baby. We moving. This my shit. The Union Depository? This is the motherfucking big leagues now, y'all. Hit me with that plan again, baby girl. We pick up the security car, leave the getaway, walk right in the front door, walk right out with the goal. Then all we gotta do is drive it over to this contact you got. Mmm, that's right. Now this lady who paying us is a shady ass motherfucker. Like she wearing government issue pantsuit kind of shady. So we ain't fucking around with this one. Keep us on headset. Let's do this. Remember, your private security. Gotta play the part, you dig? Just look like you itching to shoot someone, but don't know how to flick the safety. Yeah, try to look like you got a head injury and you failed the LSPD psych test. You know, you're a little slow. So this first section is very simple. Just follow all the on-screen instructions and you'll be fine. Don't say nothing to the guard. Just flash your ID and eyeball that motherfucker. Let me see your ID. Okay, on you go. Just swipe your pass inside the elevator, take you right down. Nice. Sounds like we through. The car should send the elevator down to the basement. Next stop, the vault, right, babe? Mm-hmm. It ain't far. Hope y'all limbered up. That's solid. It's gonna be heavy. Yo, you in? Why y'all whispering, Kay? I'm hype, girl. Shit, how the fuck you so chill? Cause it's my job. You wanna fluster my shit, you better get on your back, player. Damn. All right, y'all, get that gold upstairs before this girl give me another fucking thing to be thinking about. And despite our meticulous planning, we are gonna get a five-star wanted rating, and there's nothing you can do to avoid that. Shit, I know that sound. We busted. I thought the ID took care of that shit. As soon as your bag's full, we put a plug and get the hell out. Cops gonna be hitting you with everything they got. You wanna see a fucking response time? Do something to get the balls back nervous. These motherfuckers in each other's pockets. We're about to be greeted by a lot of very angry policemen, so be prepared for a gunfight. Sounds like a war zone out there. Keep your head down, just get to the parking lot. Now if you want to, you can use that yellow barrier as cover, but I find it's easier just to peek around the corner instead of using the cover we system. We gotta outdrive these motherfuckers, get behind the wheel. Now there's a lot of cops in this parking lot, and they will take you out very fast if you're not careful. So the best thing to do is take it slow. Only leave once you're sure that you've taken out enough of them to move on. As you saw there, you're actually given five pipe bombs as part of this loadout. I don't feel the need to save them, just use them whenever you think you need them. Now I've cleared out the car park. If you head to your right, there'll be a few more cops coming down this path, but if you stay back and use the pillars for cover, then you'll be alright. die here because there's a few cops that ambush you and they charge down this ramp and I wasn't prepared for that but luckily I managed to spam enough snacks to stay alive. A 
couple of annoying SWAT guys at the top of this balcony here, and I'm having a huge amount of trouble actually killing them. Every time I hit them, instead of dying, they'll just fall over and I have to wait for them to get back up again, so they can enjoy me struggling to kill them for a few minutes. can't just stay in the tunnel forever, the cops will keep spawning, so once you think you've taken out enough, you're going to have to make a run across the street. Two cop cars are going to spawn in the opposite tunnel. I would take them out before getting into you again, uh, because if you accidentally crash, they will chunk your health almost immediately. A few more cops spawn behind me as well. Not behind me, on the tunnel to my left. Uh, I'll take them out as well, just before I get into the getaway car. But you could probably get away with actually driving off at this point. But I'm playing it safe, making sure I get as many of them before I actually get to the car, because you're a little bit vulnerable as you're getting into a car. Oh, I'm in the car, I'm going to have to take snacks from the actual inventory menu instead of the quick menu because it doesn't work, the quick menu does not work in the car. I got a bit cocky and actually put the menu away because I thought I wouldn't need it anymore. As you'll see, I actually almost died because of that a bit later. I would usually lose cops in the sewers when I'm in the city, but it doesn't seem to work on this mission. It seems that you have to actually leave the city before you've been given the option to lose the cops. So the best thing to do is follow the map, head north, until you're out of the city. And what we're going to do is we're going to go off-road to lose the cops instead. The second time I actually almost failed this mission. Well, the car is very fast, it's also very light, and I'm not to a place where I could drive off. Luckily, I managed to get myself out of it. Almost total my car once again. But then I managed to actually survive. I should have, this is where you want, I should just kept the inventory open. There's no reason not to keep your inventory open because you can still drive and shoot while you have your inventory open. I just wanted to get off this. Drive into an area where there's not many roads, and you'll be able to lose the cops in no time. Just keep an eye out for helicopters on the map, and just drive away from their cones when you see them. Damn 
straight, baby. Let's get this shit dropped off and let's get paid. Now, once you've lost the cops, you're home free and ready to be paid. So just drive to the marker and that will be the end. Hey, her people confirmed that you're there. My ass feel richer already. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any more tips for this mission, leave a comment below. And remember to like and subscribe. Goodbye.